We don't say things like that. Do we look good? We looking good? I always look good. Oh, I need some lip gloss. Hold on, hold on. Me too. Get me some. that we do a lot of videos that promote our home state of Michigan. Look at, mm -hmm, representing right here. Mm -hmm. Got my lines, cause I'm, you know, sick like that. Gotta rep the home state. So we do a lot of videos where we're traveling to our favorite spots in Michigan. And it's come to our attention too that Michiganders, which is what we call ourselves here in Michigan, we do things a little differently than other people. Some good, some bad. So one cool thing though is that we can say, oops, is it this way on the camera? Right now, <laughs> yeah. No, it's this way, it's this way. So. You sure? Yes, yes. And then if you add the UP, super easy, you just do this. Which by the way, if you're from Michigan, you call it the UP. You do not call it the Upper Peninsula. That's just all wrong. It's just UP, UP. Right? UP. And, and if you, you live, live in the UP, you are a... Uper. Hi. <laughs> and we are not Upers, we are... Trolls. Trolls. Because, because we are under the bridge. The bridge Underneath being... the Mackinac Bridge. Mackinac Bridge, you know. We did one of our videos crossing the Mackinac Bridge. And I believe our children have done videos... Our children have done videos in Mackinac Island, which is right by the Mackinac Bridge. So that's all good and fun. Sometimes us downstaters are also known as fudgies. I thought fudgies was anybody who came to visit the Mackinac area. Oh, maybe. Well, fudgies is a reference because Mackinac is if you're not If you're not an up north local, you're a fudgie. Yes, because that's where all the fudge is made. And I don't particularly go up north to get fudge. But, and that's another thing we say is up north. We use that term, like we don't actually use it as like a physical reference of going up north like north of you are it's more of a reference of like i'm going up north like i'm going to my cottage which happens to be an hour west of the suburbs i don't know most people say up north they don't and that literally meaning up north I'm sure about that yes because okay. you could live like in where we live in the detroit area and you can say i'm going up north but really you're like going to the thumb it's not really up north a lot of people have cottages like Barely up north. Yeah, and straight. apparently, us Michiganders, ba -ba 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 -ba, apparently we have a little bit of an accent. And we like to talk fast. I think everybody else has an accent. But we like to um, <sighs> cut out letters in our words. Like, I don't even know if I can say it right. Secretary of State. That's not how we say that word. How do you say it? Secretary of State? Yeah, we say Secretary of State. It's like one word, you don't say of. Ain't nobody got time for Secretary Ain't nobody got time for that. Of State. Secretary, Secretary of State. State. That I gotta takes go like Secretary an hour State. to say that. Get a Secretary of State. It's like bam. And the other thing we like to we don't like to say our T's. We make it like a D. So button. Button. Or a little. I like you a little. Not a little. It's not a little. You just like me a little. I like you a little. Or. She should like me a lot. City becomes city. And I just, there's no pause in between. So instead of someone else would say city of Detroit, we're like city Detroit. It's like it's all one word. And then I'm not so sure that like people would understand what we're saying sometimes. Now that I'm if thinking you know, about you it. know. Another one that we like to make all one word instead of saying, did you eat? It, that was super hard for me to say because I wanted to say did you eat? G yet? Yeah. G. Yeah, don't even waste your time with that. Just say G. G yet? Yeah. Because we won't even understand it if you're like, did you eat? We're gonna be like, mm -hmm. G. G. Yeah, I ate. G. So let's say you didn't eat yet, and you go out to a restaurant. Don't ever order soda. We don't have soda around here. We no have. Soda. 
We don't know what soda is, quite frankly. So this is the funny one. I just thought of this one. Some Michiganders say this, and I am one of them. My husband disagrees, and when we first met, he literally thought I was like stupid. It's like that's not how you pronounce that word. I'm like, what do you mean that's not how you pronounce that word? That's I'm I'm saying it the same as you are. So do you know what I'm talking about? I got a guess. Yeah. Hey, either, Weston. Either... Yes. Come here. Can I guess? No, you already know it. I already you were about to say it. Come here. Yeah. All right. Let's see how he says it. How do you pronounce M I L M I L K? Milk. Colton, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Did you pronounce it more? Get out of here. No, I don't pronounce it more. <laughs> no, no. What do you put in your cereal? The white What's stuff. What's it called? What's the white, the white stuff? stuff you put in your cereal? And that, and that Ah, he said it my way. He said it my way. What did he say? I yeah. always say milk. milk. It's not milk. Like a <laughs> milk. Like I don't even know how you move your lips like that. It's an I. Milk. I ilk. Milk. Milk. No. Let them, they're not listening to so, me. So, you're interrupting me so they can't even hear me. It's milk. Not so, milk. So when you're, when you're, when you're milk. sick, when you're sick, do you say you're ill or you're L? I'm <laughs> I feeling, say I'm sick. I was I'm like, I'm feeling ill today. Okay, ill. But that, that, that's different. No, it's not. It's milk. And what about, milk. there's another one. I spilled some milk on my leg. What? And then I got on my pillow. I don't say pillow. Maybe I do say pillow. <laughs> yeah, maybe you do. <laughs> but you know what? See, this is what he makes fun of me. But I'm not the only one. That's a Michigander thing. So you must not be from the proper part of Michigan. Uh, what were the other ones besides pillow? That you say wrong? No, that Michigan. You think I say wrong? That is like a Michigander thing. Wow. Don't argue with me. I'm the boss. There's milk, <laughs> egg, egg. I say egg. Who I eats? Say nobody eats eggs for breakfast. I have an egg. He says egg. 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 Like so proper. Egg. Egg. E G G. Egg. I say egg. Hey, you want eggs? You just study this little lesson for me, and you'll figure out how to fit in so, real smoothly. Change the subject before mm -hmm. we have a huge domestic argument on camera. I, where's Brinley? <laughs> Let's get Brinley up here and see how she says it. Uh. Colt Weston, how do you say egg? Egg. Thank you. Uh, well, he's too proper. He reads a lot, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, he reads a lot. Shame on you for reading. He's got influence from wrong parts of the Shame United States. Shame on you for being an educated Golden. person, Weston. Come here. How do you say egg? How do you say egg? If you're going to have some scrambled eggs, how do you say it? Uh, scrambled eggs. All right, high five, buddy boy. What? This is my buddy. Let's do this one is my buddy. And then, we, and then we, what is the other thing to say? Say it, Colton. What's our saying? Go green. Go white. Go, Go green. Light. Go green. Okay. So this is a house divided here, but the only one divided is Daddy. Yeah. So house divided. Is that in other states? I gotta believe. Probably. Okay. Other well. States. I I I I put water in my cereal. He puts water in his cereal. I don't know if that's a no. Michigan thing. That's gross. Actually. That's just a but I am a Spartan fan, Michigan State Spartans. The person over here is a Michigan fan. But I have to call you a Walmart Michigan fan. And you know why? That didn't go to school there? Because he didn't go to school there, but he's like all about. Asian blue. Asian blue. We're going to win. Go blue. Go blue. Go blue. Well, okay, but he didn't even go there. So he doesn't hear count. Something? He doesn't count. He doesn't yes, hear somebody talking? <clears throat> I was accepted to school there. So, so was I. I'm going to put that on the record. Me too. So. Hmm. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Stop fighting. So, a lot of things in Michigan become possessive. I don't know oh, yes. what this means. I don't, I don't do know that. Why that is. So you do that, and I do you, not. You do. do. Uh -uh. So you're telling me, all right, when you say you're gonna go to Meyer, you say Meyer or Myers? I say Niger. Okay, well that's even worse. <laughs> I'm just making fun of the fact that it's Meyer and the J is silent, so I like to make fun of it. If you ask, if you're not from here, you you would say like, is that Niger? So we like to make fun of people who aren't here. They say major. Oh, there's a baby. Hi, Beckett. Come on in. Hey. Oh, dear. This one doesn't like to sleep. He, he found out he was sleeping alone. He just figured that out. Oh, don't cry. I do not, I don't say Myers, which is what you're trying to get to. I say major. Or if I don't say major, I say Meyer. But if you ask the old timers, it used to work. Anywho. Fix the camera. I think sometimes I do say Myers. 
probably. But not you all. Not know. the most of the time. So if you or ask, Kroger's. If you ask the old timers that worked in the auto industry who they worked for, oh, I worked at Ford's. But it was they meant it as in Henry Ford because he was alive during that time, so it became like a possessive thing, and then it just kind of. I think they just started applying it to everything else. But some and stores Kroger's. do have possessive, like Kohl's is possessive. Is that True. But I think Kohl's is everywhere. But like, here's another one, Joanne. Joanne Fabrics. People oh, yeah. say I'm going to Joanne's. I definitely I know say Joanne's. That. I'm going to Joanne's. Uh, yeah, I do say that a lot. Uh -huh. So here's uh -huh. another thing about talking about going places. We have a Michigan U. You have to do a Michigan U when you're driving here. Which, explain that because I don't really know how to explain that. Alright, so you're driving down the road, right? But you're only going one way. And then BAM! You hit a deer. Just joking. <laughs> Which could happen in Michigan all the time. But there's no traffic coming the other way. We got these roads, right, where you're going one way, then you got like grass and trees like and stuff in the middle. The boulevard. And then, yes, yeah, a divided highway. And then you got the traffic coming the other way. A divided highway. You get to a light, you want to make a left turn. <clears throat> no can do. You got to go past the light, then make a left hand turn and go back the other way. I and we know. call it a like, Michigan U turn. So I don't really get why we do that, but that's just how it is here. So if you run into anybody, if you're walking around the mall in this great state of Michigan and you bump into somebody, they probably wouldn't understand you say, oh, excuse me. They'd be like, excuse me? What's your problem, man? You just say, oop, sorry about that, and we're good. And everyone just goes on about their own way. If you say, excuse me, you almost sound like, like, why'd you bump into me? Like it's their, like it's their like problem. Like their fault. Excuse if you me. Say, if you say, oop, they know. Yeah, everyone knows what that means. It just means, sorry, move on, didn't mean to do that, we're all good. How do you say mirror? Huh? Sounds mirror. Mirror. Like the thing you look into to see yourself? Yeah. Mirror. It's like M-E-E-R, mirror. Oh. Instead of mirror. Who would say mirror? I'm gonna go look in the mirror and mirror. see how my hair looks. Then I'm gonna button my shirt. Button. We don't say things like that. Those are like no nos. So if you ever want to come to Michigan and fit in, you would say, I'm gonna look in the mirror to button my shirt. See how I said that there? Mirror becomes mirror. And button becomes button. Like And you say it really like, fast. I'm gonna look in the mirror and button my shirt. Like like mirror as in mirror cat. As in mirror cat, I guess. Oh another one that we shorten a lot that other people may not understand is instead of saying look at it we say look it we just completely eliminate the at basically right and we just make it one word look it. we just sandwich it into one word look it like if we see a little cat we're like oh look it other people would be like look at it we're like look it so apparently that's a michigander thing and i totally 100 percent say that but a lot of these things i didn't realize were michigander things because i just thought that's how everybody talked that's how everybody should talk <laughs> So, but here is one thing that I just found out today. Shocker! Newsflash! I just found out today. In Michigan, we do actually add a word to something that we don't need to add it to. And that is, where at. So, a lot of other people apparently just say, oh, where? But here in Michigan, we say, where at? We don't need to add the at, but we do. And I didn't realize that that was a Michigan or thing either until I looked it up. Did you know that? Do you normally say where or where at? I don't even think about it. I definitely say where at. I probably do too. I it's like know. if you say. I don't pay attention. If you say, oh, did you see that big explosion today? It's like, oh, where at? I wouldn't be like, oh, where? I don't know. Fair enough. It just seems weird just to say where. But it's funny because, like we say, it's funny because it's true. Or, you know, Secretary of State. But then we say, oh, where at? We like use, we very pronunciate all the words. Weston, what are you doing? I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so if you can think of anything else that us Michiganders do that you think is different or makes us stand out that we didn't come across today or discuss today, let us know in the comments down below. And comment down below if you're from Michigan, if you do some of these things, especially if you say milk or milk. Which way do you say it? Where from Michigan are you at? If you say milk versus milk. Because that would be interesting to know. I see what you did there. What? See, so you didn't even know you did it. 
where from Michigan are you at? Oh yeah. Not where, where we're at. at. Hope you like our video and hope you learned more about us Michiganders. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Yep, mm -hmm. thumbs up. Michigan's just gonna go like this. See you guys next time, bye. bye.